Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to play solitaire using Hong Kong old style scoring. If you don't know how to play yet, there are links below the video to the lesson playlist. This is the easiest style to learn. So if you're new to Mahjong, try this. I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed. They're back here. So I'm going to say that it is east wind of the round. This game is played in rounds, so we'll just play east round. That'll give us an opportunity to maybe get some score with that east wind of the round. I'm going to take 14 random tiles for east and then 13 for south, west, and north. Okay, we're ready to go. We've got all our tiles out and I'm going to use this as a marker just to remember whose turn it is because you could get lost. If you try this at home, find some kind of a marker. So let's look at East and see what we can make happen for East. And we're going to say there's a two fawn minimum. Anytime you play this game, there's typically a, a minimum that you have to reach in order to qualify to win. And in this case, we're going to say uh, two fawn. So for this player, player one, they do have a few pair here, two pair, a three pair. I think we should have them play all pwn or all pung. P U N G, pung. So they have a pair here. A pair here and here. One, two, three pair. They need two more pair and they're ready to go for punging. So I would do all pung on this one. They have too many mixed suit, too many tiles in other suits to go to half flush, which is a three fawn hand. All pung is three fawn, and you're it's fine to mix suits with pungs. What you don't want to do is mix suits with chows because that will drive your score down. Let's see what South can do. South has a flower, so let's go ahead and put that out and replace it. They got another flower and it's their flower, two flower. So right now they have a fawn for that two flower. So all they need is one more fawn. We might be able to make them play all chow. If they play all chow with their seat flower, they can go ahead and win as quickly as possible. So as not to give other players time to go for a bigger hand. Because only the player who wins gets paid. So here's a pair. There's a potential chow. Potential chow. Here's a potential chow there. So they're set up for chows, all chows. So let's discard for these guys. We'll discard these three and we'll go for all chow. All chow with their own flower, that would be too fun. That is a low scoring hand, but only the winner gets paid. So that's what we'll have South do, all chow. Let's see about West. West has two pair in dots. Let's see if we can, oh, they do have a pair here in the five bam. I'm thinking probably all pung, but if they draw in bams and honors, I would switch them to half flush. But this five bam, they might be able to go for all pung. So let's throw these away first and see what happens for them. Let's see about North. North can play half flush. They have three tiles that are off their major suit. Their major suit is BAMs. Look at all these BAMs. And they have honors. And one of the honors is paired right there, West. 
So we, we could have them play half flush. They only have three discards to get to a half flush. That's pretty good. So let's go ahead and get started. Everybody's got their tiles and we're ready to go. So we'll uh, have East. They're gonna try for all Pung. If they're going for all Pung, I would try to pair up that red dragon. I think what I'll do is discard the one dot. One dot. Then it would be South's turn, but West has a one dot. Let's Pung it. So I'm gonna put this over here on the left and we're gonna Pung that one dot, skipping South, and now we're gonna discard. Let's discard the one crack and draw for North. Nobody can take that one crack. Just make sure you don't go forward until you check. Okay, so we're gonna draw for North. They drew a West, that's good. There's their Pung right there, Pung. So we're gonna try to get them to a half flush. So we need to discard all these. Let's throw the seven dot. Nobody can take a seven dot, so we're gonna draw for East. They drew an east. That could bring score too. That's their seat wind and it's the wind of the round. Let's throw the two dot. And nobody can take a two dot unless, yeah, no, nobody can take it. I was gonna, I was gonna say they could chow, but they need a one dot. And now there's a pung of one dots out. So let's go ahead and draw for south. Okay, they got an eight bam. That's a potential chow also. So we can put that there. Let's go ahead and get rid of the red dragon. They're gonna play an all chow, really even, even they could do a, a chow there. But this chow is a two-sided weight, so they could get either a five dot or an eight dot. This is a better chow than this one, because with this one, they would have a middle weight, which is specific. Only one tile will fulfill that chow. So we'll probably throw this nine dot next. Okay, so we threw a red dragon. We're gonna draw for west. Oh, they got a green. That could bring some score. We're gonna try to have them play all Pung. They need more pairs badly. So let's go ahead and discard the seven crack. And then we'll draw for north. Making sure first nobody can take that seven crack. No, we'll draw for north. Seven dot, discard. Let's draw for east. Oh, they got a one bam. If they're playing all chow, they gotta have a pair in here somewhere. They have a pair, pair, pair. They, sh they should play all pung. Was I gonna have them play chows or pungs? Pungs. <clears throat> so now they're set with pungs, so they're good to go. Let's go ahead and throw the two bam. Two bam, okay. So now it would be South's turn, but North has a pair, a pair of twos. They could pung that. Let's have them pung that. So we're gonna put that out for a pung for North, skipping these players here. And we're going to discard, let's discard the f five crack. And five crack, now this player's playing pungs, all pung, so this player has a four, six, or a three, four. You'd think, well, why don't they chow it? You can only chow from the player on your left and left of south is east. So this player cannot take a chow tile from north. Okay, so they threw the five crack. We're gonna go ahead and draw for east. Let's just count and make sure they're ready. Oh, they got a six bam. That's not gonna help them get to their pungs though. Uh, let's go ahead and um, throw it. We're going for all Pung. We need these pairs to become Pungs. All these pairs here need to become Pungs. Pung, 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 and then they need a pair. I was hoping that we could pair up these tiles here because these could bring additional score. Any Pung of Dragons is a fawn. Any Pung of your own wind or the wind of the round is a fawn. Let's go ahead and discard the eight. Let's see, did I already discard? Now I'm confused. I think four, 
five, six, yeah, they've already discarded. Okay, so now we're going to draw four south. They got a one flower. That is not their seat flower, but that's okay. We got their replacement. Let's throw the nine dot and we're gonna draw four west. Six bam. They're playing all pung. They need more pairs. Six bam was thrown. Let's discard it. And we'll draw four north. Oh, that's a good that's a good keeper right there. Because now they can have a three, four, five, maybe, four, five, six, or six, seven, pair that up. Who knows? If we discard the nine crack, they're cleared to one suit with honors. So we're throwing the nine crack and it's now east turn and they have a pair of nines we're going to pung that so we'll put that out there and pung it and now i'm thinking we should go ahead and discard these tiles here i do not want to be waiting to make that a pair tile because i may never get it i'm going to discard the east we'll hold the eight it'll be easier to pair up an eight than it would be an honor so let's uh, go ahead and draw four west i mean south okay they got a three bam they're trying for all chows so that's not going to help them three bam and we're going to draw four west they got a two flower that's a bummer because that's not their flower so we're going to draw a replacement tile three dot they got one of their pung tiles that's fine but they need more pairs desperately. East was thrown. Let's go ahead and throw it. And then we'll draw four north. They got a nine crack. That's a good discard because East already did a pung on that. So that can't be claimed. So we'll go ahead and uh, draw four east. One crack. That's a discard. We're trying to get all pungs. Oh yeah, let's get rid of the red. Now two are out, so that's a probably a safe tile. Let's draw four south. They got a three flower. That is not a good keeper for them, but that's okay. Two bam, that's a discard. We're looking for, for chow tiles, so we need to fill in. Let's draw four west. Nine dot, oh, they needed that pear tile. That so now they have, West has one pung right here. They've got a one dot out. So we have pung, pung, a potential pung, I should say. So all they need now is a pair. We're, let's start getting rid of these honors that never paired up. Get rid of them if you're not going to end up using them since they have their potential pungs identified here. All they need is a pair. We need to plan these to be a pair tile because we may never get the south. So let's go ahead and draw four north. Five dot, that's a discard. And nobody can take a five dot, so we'll draw four east. Seven bam. They're trying for all pung, so that, that seven bam is not going to help. We'll discard a seven bam, and we'll draw four south. Now south is playing an all chow hand. If they play all chow, they have, they have their own flower, so that's their other fawn. So let's go ahead and chow. So we're going to take that seven bam and make a chow, six, seven, eight. They have their pair. Here's a potential chow, potential chow. These are all good potential chows here. Let's get rid of the one crack because now they can do a two, three, four, or a five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and draw four west. They drew a six crack. That is a discard and nobody can take a six crack. So we'll draw four north, four dot. That's a discard. Nobody wants that. We'll draw for east. They drew a north. Let's get rid of that north and draw for south. Eight bam. Let's discard it. That's not going to help them get to their chows. And we're going to draw for west. 
Oh, they drew a 9 bam. That's awesome. They needed that because now they have one, two, three pair that can all be potential pungs. We're going to get rid of the south. They just need to pung two sets here and they'll be ready to go. So we threw a south. Let's draw for north. Five crack. That's a discard. Five crack from north. We're down here. This player can't take that five crack. So we have to draw north, discard, drawing for south. White dragon, let's get rid of it now. Don't want to be left with dragons or winds if you're not going to use them. And they're trying for all chows. Let's draw for west. Oh, they got a seven bam. That's not going to be helpful. They need to, they need to pong. Okay, so we're going to look out and see what's out. There's a seven bam in a chow. There's an eight bam in a chow and an eight bam in a discard. So let's throw the eight bam. You want to pick discards so that your tiles are still in the draw pile so that you could potentially draw it or take it in a new discard. So we're going to go ahead and draw for north. Now an eight bam was discarded. We can take that for a chow. So let's do that. Chow. The eight bam. And we're going to go ahead and discard the red dragon. There's already two out. Let's draw for east. They got a seven bam. There's already, oh, let's get rid of the eight bam. That's a good discard. We'll draw for south. Four crack. Yeah, that's not really going to help them because they have their pair already right here. There's a two, three, six, seven, three, four, four, five. Let's see what's out. There's a, there's one five crack out. There's one five crack out right now. Let's, I don't think that four crack helped them. We're going to throw it four crack because they can take this for a two crack or a five crack and they can take this with a five crack or an eight crack. So let's go ahead and draw four west. Green dragon discard drawing four north. Five bam. Oh, that's a good tile for them because now they have a chow three, four, five. They can discard the south and they're ready to mahjong on a four bam. They have two bams in a pung and they have a chow in a seven, eight, nine. So they're ready on a four bam and there are none out. So let's go ahead and draw four east. They drew a three crack. They're again trying for all pung here. All they need to do is pung. So let's throw the seven bam and we'll draw four south. They got a five crack. That's a good tile. Five, six, seven. Okay, now let's see here. South has a chow out already. So they need to pick what is going to leave them with the best possibility. There, there's um, one five crack out. No twos are out. There's one five dot out. No eight dots are out. There's a pung of one dots out. Let's get rid of the two dot. And then this two or three dot will be the next discard. So they just need to chow at here in one of these and they'll be ready to win. So they're getting close. Two dot was discarded. Let's draw for west. Four dot. That is a discard. Four dot. And then we can draw four north. Two dot, that's a discard. We're going to draw four east. Three bam, that's a discard. They're trying for pungs. Let's come up here and draw four east. They drew a three, I mean south. They drew a three flower. So we can go ahead and Take a replacement tile for that. Eight crack. Oh, look. Six, seven, eight, three, four, five. 
six, seven. We're going to throw the th three dot and they're ready on a five dot or an eight dot. Three dot. Now up here we have West. West has a pung of three dots. And if your group is playing for an automatic payout with Kongs, which is a four of a kind, I'd go for it. But we're not doing that, so I'm just going to keep it concealed. If you stay concealed, nobody knows what you're up to, and that's a good thing. So three dot was discarded. The other thing about not declaring Kongs is you can break it up and use the fourth tile as a chow tile. Not, we're not playing chows here, but that is one strategy for not declaring a Kong. So let's go ahead and draw for West. They drew a six dot, which is not a keeper. They're playing pungs. They need to pung. They need a nine bam, five bam, and a nine dot, and then this will be their pair. Let's see, because they've already got a, a pung of one dots out. Okay, so we're going to draw for nor, uh, North. They got a nine bam, that's a discard, nine bam. And we're going to have West pung. So West is taking that pung tile and we're going to discard the seven bam. Seven bam. And they're ready to win on a nine dot or a five bam. So we're going to come up here and draw for North. They need a four bam. They drew an eight dot. We'll discard that and draw for East. Seven dot. That's a discard. Nobody can take that. We're going to draw for south. Three crack. That's a discard. They're ready to go. We don't need to make any changes there. They're waiting on a five dot or an... Oh, an eight dot. I missed it. I missed a mahjong. That happens in a game, by the way. So we're just going to keep going. Three crack. And then we're going to draw for west. South, discard. Drawing for north. Two crack. That's a discard. We're going to draw, oh, right here, pung. We're going to pung it, two crack. Okay, now, pair, pair. Let's get rid of the one crack, and we'll draw four south. They got a flower. Okay, let me show you the flower. Let me take a replacement first, because I want to show you these flowers here. They have all one color. That's called a bouquet. They get an extra fawn for that. They get a fawn for their flower and a fawn for having all four. So they have two fawn with their flowers alone. Okay, so let's go ahead and discard the east. Hopefully we can get them to win. I feel bad that I missed that eight dot, but that happens in games sometimes. If you're not paying attention, you'll miss your mahjong tile. So let's draw four west. We drew a west, we'll discard it. And it's North's turn. It's same thing for North. We don't need to declare that. They get a pick no matter what. So we'll just draw North. That's a discard. Oops. Okay. We're going to draw for East. They need another pair tile. Six dot. That's a discard. We're going to draw for south. White dragon, discard. Drawing for west. Green, discard. Drawing for north. Eight dot, discard, and mahjong. So they ended up getting mahjong anyway. That's nice. Now I don't feel bad. Okay, so we have a pear, a chow, and then we have a chow over here that they already declared. And there's a chow, and there's a chow. Now, look at all these flowers that they got. All these are theirs. Stick them back there. So the flowers that count for them are these, all one color. So they get two fawn for that. And then they get one fawn for all chow. So they have a three fawn hand. These flowers don't count because it's not theirs. So they lucked out. I made that mistake and let that eight dot go earlier and they ended up getting it anyway. That's kind of nice. It's nice if you can recover from a mistake. It feels good. You're kicking yourself and then all of a sudden 
you're praising yourself. Woohoo! They won. Let me know what you think about solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you have tiles at home, give it a try yourself. Come back and let me know your results. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. And click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to pick up some new strategies or insights into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.